here we go. Glorious Skiv and the human team. <laughs> Versus Orcs. So, I mean, Crystal Hunter's team is basically the same as my team, isn't it? He has got a little less guard than I've got, but pretty comparable. So we'll see how bad a matchup it is for the... Uh, For the humans. By the way, chaps, lads, boys, lads, if anybody could look on the World Cup um, rules and see, could confirm whether Ducky wasn't even cheating. Because if there's nothing that says you can't spend inducement money, then. Wood Elves might just come with a bait. Might they? Like, if they haven't explicitly said that you can't spend your inducement money, you would think it would be, wouldn't you, Shoni? That's the common sense. Uh, that's the common sense deduction to make but if they haven't explicitly stated in the rules that there's no inducements then there is inducements mm. uh, World Cup starts on the 16th kicking interesting alright that's good thank you Steve <laughs> right Good. Good. At least they at least they didn't fuck it up. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have been surprised if it if it was a bit of a fuck up. <laughs> no, you can have uh, the stadium upgrades, but you can't have enhancements. So you can have you know level four stadium. Interesting the kick, isn't it? Well, double wizard was possible if, if they allowed enhancements, but I knew they didn't allow enhancements. I, I remember them seeing that there was no enhancements. I mean, I, you know, I probably saw there was no enhancements, but then I just thought, but what if they didn't say it? What if they didn't say it? Twelve plays is also good for orcs, and they can foul, can't they? Um, yeah, the the agility teams, not really humans, but uh, wood elves and that could have a rough time if it couldn't they, with getting fouled and everything. I don't know how good the uh, the humans would be good against dwarves. I think the humans wouldn't really be very happy about facing dwarves. That was a bad move, wasn't it? Should have, should have made a move. To protect the ball first, really.
really want to blitz him, don't have a look out. One way or the other, so I guess I gotta make this buff though. from here. Show hands man. Saves a re-roll. Well nah, not really, I would have just not re-rolled it. <laughs> yeah, Zon seem really really luck based don't they do you really want to have 250 euros on the line and just hope you don't get matched against wolves probably a good idea if you think you're not good enough to win two games <laughs> um because you know if you're not played wolves you're probably going to win two games aren't you? That's, that's the fucking weird thing about zones like if you think you're good you want the most reliable team and if you don't think you're good you want the diciest team don't you i guess and while zones aren't particularly dicey in a game, they're very dicey when it comes to matchup. Left a bit of a left a bit of a gap there, didn't I? Poor poor player. Fucking humans in their movement. Shit heads. Steve, when I said good, I meant very, very good. <laughs> I meant if you think you're one of the top eight in the tournament. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, to yourself in Magic tournaments is there's a lot of really good players, and the players, you know, far in excess of the level of players of Blood Bowl. Top Magic players are way, 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 way better than Magic than the top Blood Bowl players are good at Blood Bowl, 100%. Not even close. You can't even compare top Magic players to top Blood Bowl players. This is fucking horrible. You can protect the ball, what the fuck do I, how do I get it and protect it? Go for him. Hey, that's all I had to do. Oh, I get a pound now. 
<laughs> easy. Easy as the other way. Alright, oh, it wasn't, wasn't actually that good. For some reason I thought I was clearing the tackle zones there. I'm a bit miles away. Nah, the others aren't going to... They are not world class though, that's the thing. That's the thing, Steve. It's, it's a quaint idea. But realistically... God, I can't just stay there, can I? So I've got to dodge. One, two. Could double GFI there. Could double GFI to there. This is a right clusterfuck. I've got to use my reroll this turn, so and I can't reroll the pickle. So <laughs> no, Pedro Jack. What I said is, <laughs> what I said is, um, what I said is, uh, Kai Buddha is way, way better at magic comparatively to an average player than Ducky is at Blood Bowl compared to an average player. I know he's not relevant anymore. I don't know who the top magic player of the world is. So, but you know, he's still good, isn't he? Or Finkel, or whoever. Whoever's Three good words. now. Shut up, cunt. <laughs> In the same way as, uh, you know, fucking. It was, the, it, was the, it was the guy with the fucking Magnus Carlsen, is it? He's way, way better at chess compared to an average person, an average normal person who doesn't play. He's way better than. Well, you know, he doesn't play comp professionally. He's way better than compared to them than Ducky is compared to a random person, isn't he? Yeah, but they, they don't have a bad matchup though, Steve. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, no. <laughs> no. If anything, that proves my point. <laughs> um, but that, that's just a factor of Woody's, isn't it, Steve? The point is with... with with Zons, Zons are untouchable if they don't if they don't face dwarves. They just win. So <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Maybe it maybe it's limited massively by I, f I feel like it is limited massively by the luck factor, because holy shit I've lost to some terrible fucking Blood Bowl players. But then you know, in, in Magic, you could lose to a terrible Magic player by just, you know, fucking red deck wins, you know. Some asshole can play you with red deck wins and fucking... Do some stuff and fuck you over. 
that is simply not true. The meta does not support your assertion. No, I don't agree that Zons is a bad choice. I think if you are if you don't think you're in the top 8, or in the top 16 or whatever, then I think going something like Zons to maximise your chances if you just don't get your bowling matchup is good, isn't it? But I don't think it's something that I would want to do, because I do think I'm one of the 8 best. <laughs> Ooh, he double one. How do I how do how do I clear it? Chain him onto him. <sighs> Chain onto a scatter. I don't really want to scatter it, do I? But I might have to. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I do get a two dice. Probably should just put him away from the fucking stuff, couldn't I? Whoa. What a shit show this is. Oh, I didn't even realise he was there. No, oh, I could have stood him up last turn, probably. Down some, uh, knock down some humans, which is good, but um, it's still very running out of time, isn't it? With all sorts of things. <laughs> Match up, uh, Match up to it. Yeah, neither would I, Pedro Jack. I mean, to be fair, that's that's what that's what we did with our friend, me and my. I've got two friends who play magic. Well, slight lie, but two of my friends who, you know, we went to mag we went to magic tournaments together and stuff. We even played in a team tournament, and uh, you know, me and my buddy who's good, we kind of played control decks because you know. If you play well, you can kind of play your way out of trouble and everything, can't you? Make the right decisions. And uh, the guy who wasn't very good, we always gave him a fucking red deck wins deck because he could just roll fucking dice, couldn't he, to see if he won, basically. And it was a good strategy. It worked out for him quite well because if he got the. Uh, if he, you know, sometimes he would just fucking deal 20. You know, always go fa like Face Hunter, isn't it? In a. Uh, in fucking Hearthstone, you know, if it, if it works, it works. Hey, Og Thrower got the ball. Good. Good old Og Thrower. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Still not in a great spot. <laughs> Fuck about. Still got the blitz though. Do I need to make this GFI? Not sure. Did it anyway. Good. Right, this is the thing I'm fucking put knocking in there. He gives them the assist. I could just, could just block him. But now the push is pretty bad. The cracking open the cage. Mm, it's not that bad actually. And I don't want to free the, the old group, do I? Getting punched by the old business over. Stops him getting based by the uh, old bull, which is good. Alright, might have fucking. Might have survived that fucking. Essentially a blitz, wasn't it, really? The failed pickup and the uh, leaving in the gap to blitz through. No good control there, not really. I took the rebel one, Steve. I took the rebel one. Um, the the plan I have was to have Nuru play um, sprinter for the uh, ticket, but um, then Nuru qualified anyway. So rather than mess sprinter around, and you know it wasn't really clear if I took the rebel, if I took the DBBL ticket, it wouldn't be clear who'd get the rebel because then Nuru could not take the rebel ticket, and then. It was, it was all just too complicated, so I thought, I thought to myself, oh, well, I'm glad I didn't block it, I didn't even go down. Um, I thought to myself, you know, plus taking the Rebel 1 was fairer anyway, since I actually play in Rebel and don't play in DVD. So. God, yeah, it would, wouldn't it, Shoney? That would be, that would be good. To be fair, Spartacle lost the World Cup due to walkthrough, I mean, didn't he? Rolled 1s every time he fucking dodged. With him, it was it was out, he was outrageously unlucky with his orc throw. Cost him, cost him, cost him the tournament. <laughs> God, this is pretty horrible still. No, Shawnee, it wasn't. It wasn't anything tactical at all. Honestly, it was. I know it should have been. But I didn't think about that at all. That's why I was, uh, you know, I thought it was a great idea to have them play each other to see who went in. You know, I was happy with that. But then, once it, once it knew we'd already qualified, it, I just thought, let's let's make it the fa the fairest thing was to take the rebel one, wasn't it? That was that was the fairest thing to do anyway. because I actually play in rebel and don't actually play in uh, in D B B. Yeah, so that is what happened. That is what happened in the end. Yes, Shawnee. They did play each other, and the loser got the ticket. But um, could blitz with him and then bring them both up. I guess that works. Kind of need these to be powers. Oh, brilliant! That was not a power. <laughs> Killed him! Good God Almighty! Good God Almighty, you killed him! I'm gonna be here with for no. no, um. <laughs> no, uh. No GFI. Crack. 
Christ, this is horrible. Maybe him making a dodge is good. Three plus two plus the one dies. This is a good block, even on the push. I think I'll lose the least if I fail this dodge. Could go there and then he can't even get one dice on, on us. And even if he falls over there, he can't get one dice. Push here isn't isn't irrelevant. He's not, running, he's not running the cage yeah, despite being movement five. He, because he was out for movement five is why he had to outrun the cage. So there you go, all these idiotic people who say who say that um, he doesn't outrun the cage. Because he's movement five, he had to outrun the cage. If he was movement six, he could have stayed back here and been in a completely safe cage. But now, with it only being movement five, he had to get in the third line, didn't he? So he literally had to outrun his cage because he's movement five. So, completely wrong, everyone who says that about orc throwers not running a cage, they're completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> Hello, Nosedive. <laughs> I could have just passed the bits, I had pass and everything! <laughs> I haven't got the passing option. It's some dice rolls for him here, isn't it, to, to make things work? Oh, not that many dice rolls. Oh god, I've just seen I've just seen what he sees. Oh shit. Oh shit, I've just seen what he sees. Fuck. Yeah, Drake, just for this game, I'm, I'm, I've made nine teams for the World Cup, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play them all and stuff. Oh God, I've just seen what he sees. All right, I don't see what he sees. Do you know what he could have done here? <laughs> um. What he could have done was, is he could have two dice him, and then just puts the ball with the ogre. But instead he's going to base the ball with the ogre, which, you know, it's okay, but I would have rather, I would have rather knock the ball over than, um, than base it. Then another after, yeah, if, if somebody's on the play, yeah. Yeah, they do seem pretty decent with you know. This was a this was a fuck up. I mean I fucked up letting him blitz through and put the pressure on. After failing the pickup. So I was a bit, little bit unlucky failing the pickup, but uh really bad letting him blitz through. And punished. Deservedly punished. The rules are Yeah, 
Hey. Could have rolled that earlier, couldn't he? So he didn't get the fucking ball faced by the fucking ogre. Um. Chaining would be nice, but I guess I don't get to. So. I could blitz and then one dice him. That seems. Seems the best that's gonna happen. So it Volker, we have to play safe. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you do have to play safe. I don't really like playing safe against good players. Maybe he thinks I'm not good. Now yeah, things got a lot, a lot more dangerous now, didn't they? I'm going to put to the ogre and uh, with a black orc and assist, but now I can't because uh, I have to. I had to not roll them both down and then roll the skull. Brilliant, brilliant. One two plus roll. Couldn't do it. Should have said them as well, shouldn't I? But this is this is the weakness of orcs, isn't it? Oh, they're reliable. They're armor nine, but I mean I should have stood the, these up. This guy may have dodged out at the end. This guy would have dodged out at the end. But I should have stood up the little black box. Okay, Sean, anyway. that'll be good. That'll be good as well, no, I've done. Exactly, Shawnee, exactly. Yep, yeah, Schmidt Schmitz here. Yep. Yeah. I'll keep playing. And then, you know, we can play. Make a team anyway, because, you know, even if we don't play it today, we could play some other time. I advise everyone to make. Make teams. Um, oh god. Armor eight. Is he gonna die because armor eight? Like what? What? <laughs> BM pushes, fuck about. This guy ain't even in range, neither is this one. He had block on the blitzer though, the blitzer could have just taken the both down. You can't forget blocking the blitzer, can you? I mean, you can blitz without the blitzer, of course. Total brain fan. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. No scoring threat, so that's good. Stand up the irrelevant guys now. Right. 
Yeah, he's just trying to hit things is the answer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was like, this is not <laughs> That's a good spit seal. It is the NAF official, um, is the is the one you know to look for, and is the league, and then the division is uh, World Cup practice. It's tricky. Hello, rotten blood. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Much better today than the days I tried to play Champs Ladder. Though I, uh, I didn't defend well. I didn't defend. Didn't yeah. Didn't defend well really against the. Uh, Against the pressure, oh shit! I should have, you know, the, it's funny, isn't it? The uh, the humans didn't get anybody removed, and now the orcs have had a guy killed. So it's a funny old game, isn't it? Glorious, thank you very much, Vulpies and Colter. Super VIP Vulpies and Colter, thanks for staying fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty much. Thank you very much, Vulpie. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't look at it. It's basically, you know, it's playing for fun versus. Uh, Versus trying to grind in, it's horrible. Oh man. Well, we still got we still got multiple training sessions. If you want to look at replays or play games or whatever, Vulkies and Cola. It looks a lot easier to take against good players, I think. You know, like, you know. <laughs> I mean, I can't speak for Ducky, but if Ducky had, uh, it, you know, if, if the roles were reversed and Ducky had uh, cast my war dancer, I'd feel well he could have probably beaten me even if he didn't cast the war dancer. Whereas if it had been somebody who'd played three games of Blood Bowl in his life who cast my war dancer, I'd be like, fuck's sake, the only way he can fucking win is if he casts me dancer. You know, and. Uh, it's just a lot easier to take, I think. Like when Price uh, got my uh, 
<laughs> got got best for go um, with a rock. It was like he, he might have still won, so I didn't I didn't mind it so much. Oh, this guy doesn't need to be on the list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no progression yet. Ah, when can you put an extra result? You've got to do it at team creation, Smithy. What you've got to do is you've got to select the uh, custom team option, and then you can. You, that gives you the 1,100 to spend. Well, it gives you infinite money to spend. And then you can just click on the players to level them up. Uh, you know, four normal skills for a tier one team and five normals and one double for a tier two team. There was a guard. There was a guard with a rogue. I mean, it was three guard. Now down to two. I like the idea of delaying the mighty blow so that if these get were drawn against like a wood elf team they could get, go mighty blow on the blitzer. If they would get to get drawn against like a dwarf team they could go guard on another black oak or something. So I quite like it. Quite like quite liking that. <laughs> yeah, go on night. <laughs> oh shit. Yes, five normal, one double. So basically the tier 1 teams end 11.80 TV and the tier 2 teams end 12.30 TV. And yeah, fixed TV, yeah. yeah. No stats, no, no, no stats. <laughs> thanks RNG God, thanks for the bits. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as the seeing as uh hello, <laughs> thanks for the bit. Um <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mention tier three because the name of the the, the name of the name of the division is World Cup practice, and if you want to go to the World Cup with vampires, then you shouldn't have qualified for the World Cup or halflings or goblins. You know, just wasting everyone's time. I think, or using it as a cop out to say, "Oh, well, look, I just want to play to have fun. I didn't care about winning." You know, get out of town. <laughs> get out of town. Um, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to. No, they don't. Wow, Vamps are tier 2 and someone took them. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable that someone still took them. Yeah, you can take normals. It was it was confirmed by Nathaos that it's just an option to take the doubles. You don't have to. Because some teams, like Dwarfs, for example, would definitely just rather take a normal, wouldn't they? I guess maybe they'd want to dodge on the ball carrier, but... Probably, like, you know, game two, where you get a double, they probably just want piling on on the troll slayer, don't they? <laughs> nah, I don't think I Fuck that. <laughs> if you want to give people the chance, don't qualify. You know? That's what I think. I think it's very weak to use a use a tier three team and say you're a fun haver, you know. Like it's okay in a league, fair enough, because leagues aren't leagues aren't all all that there is. Uh, you know, leagues aren't all about winning, are they? But the World Cup <laughs> is all about winning, isn't it? Should be. Uh, true scroll, dude. But. Um, there was in the uh, in the <laughs> uh, 
cross-platform cup, it was mandated that you had to take a double scoop. So. <laughs> How this works, rat and blood, is... <laughs> It's really fucking stupid because it doesn't work with <laughs> with cyanide's uh, with cyanide's things. Yeah, it doesn't work with a client. So how how it how it works is um, you have to remake your team after each round, <laughs> which is fucking stupid, isn't it? But that's that is what it is. People are gonna have to literally remake their teams. After each round. I went a bit overboard on that side, didn't I? Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give Glorious. In. Thank you very much, Kid Crystal, for staying fantastic through the dark times. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Glorious. <sighs> yeah, but it's... <laughs> the thing is, Rogue Shenanigans, people are overselling it, but how are they going to do the draw, though? They, they're going to have to seed the draws or something? And redo the... Th yeah, it's funny that the format of the official World Cup is not supported natively by the World Cup, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It does mean they can show off skills and development, yeah. Yeah. It does mean that. I can put a guard in there. He could blitz him, and then he could run around, and then he could block him too. One dice in. Put the guard in there and then blitz him. Then there's only one dice. Probably got to be the best. I'm so used to trying to target catchers, but they're armor eight, so it doesn't doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to target them, does it? But it used to. It used to be a good strategy back in the day. <laughs> Peace battle simulator. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Put Stuart to do the draw live on this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is the correct format. I think the format's good. Um, but, yeah, it's just funny that, that Blood Bowl 2 doesn't support it normally. Yeah, two two per player is the max. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Uh, they they can get claw pond rogue shenanigans, but it would have to be like a chaos mino or a uh, norse yet. Yeah, it could be a, it could be a chorf mino after the first game. Yeah, <laughs> technically they can, but they can't. Yeah, true. But also, the problem with orcs is you're slow and you don't have enough skills. You know? Rogue, yeah.
I took panning on an Aroga in a tabletop tournament that I went to. It was pretty funny. I fucking murdered the fuck out of a dwarf team as well with Skaven. It was hilarious. Beat them about 3 or 4 nil and just murdered his whole team by panning under the rat over all the time. It was pretty fun. Yeah, Woodies are still great. Woodies are going to be top. Whatever the format, Woodies are going to be a great, great choice. Guess he's scoring. It's not a bad format. That's the important thing. They didn't fuck it up, you know. Like, you know, it could have easily been made and just been a bad format. So the fact that we've got something that isn't too high and it's not too crazy and it's... I think it's good. Yeah, it isn't UKBBL exactly, World Champions, exactly. You know, they've done better than one of the biggest leagues in Blood Bowl 1 and 2. So, I am, um, you know. Yeah, exactly, Squirrel Dude, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Skaven will take Mighty Blow Core, won't he? So, already that's Orcs and Dwarves, one of their advantages, goals. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Skrill Dude. Do you want to gamble 200? But the thing is, you're gambling 250 that isn't guaranteed if you don't gamble, isn't it? That's the thing. Like, if you could just take, like, let's say, Wood Elves or Orcs, and be guaranteed of, of making it to the second, winning your first two games, then I think it would be a no-brainer choice. But you're really not guaranteed if you take one of those teams. So why not just gamble it out, you know, gamble with the, uh, getting a, you know, getting a good draw with with Zons or whatever. Um, not Chorf, so Skaven. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, indeed, rogue shenanigans, yeah. Well, that that rock wasn't an injury. Oh, I don't. I don't think Chorus. You would probably wouldn't want to take Claw on the Chorus, but that I think they form in the same banner of they're not pretty good after four skills, but probably pretty good after they've got a bunch of skills. I'll go a level 4 stadium if I remember. Oh, fuck me, that's loud. I'll go a level 4 stadium if I remember, but whether I remember or not is a different question. Oh, I forgot I could just move the ball carry.
Chalks are tier one. Yeah, they couldn't make them tier two, could they? God, if they if they made them tier two, the cup would be infested by chalks. <laughs> Fucking infested by them. I feel like if that had been my first turn in the first half, things might have gone a lot better. Oh my god, this is so fucking loud. Turn it down now. Fucking hell. It's so fucking loud, does my head in? It's still loud. Does he like he plays as humans like he plays as rats, doesn't he? It's <laughs> it's basically exactly the same as a skating team. <laughs> Oh, he's got an assist there. Fuck. Got a blitz though, haven't he? Humans with tails. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is World Cup team. Oh no, I'm gonna have to remake them all again, aren't I? Because they probably won't allow experienced teams in. Clash of the uh, <laughs> a clash of the uh, <laughs> um, a clash of the console cultures. Thanks, Sean.
Oh, he's elf screen. They were skaven, now they're elves. Quite, quite lucky that wasn't it, three stuns. <laughs> and, and actually a pretty big bonehead, really. Power here is huge. Huge. Shitty orcs being moving from Oh well. <laughs> uh. Thing is I needed the I needed that square to blit and make the blitz there. Then I was gonna move the troll. <laughs> I guess I could have played safe, couldn't I, eh? Taking way more... Taking about equal damage that Inarian took with Wood Elves. <laughs> and that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing with Orcs, you know? It really is. It's going to be really weird recreating the team because you're totally going to be able to pick against who you're playing, isn't it? Which is which, which again makes makes elves worse after round one and zons worse after after round one because everyone is going to pick tackle against them or mighty blow or whatever. So. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna to have to be reseed every time. So, um, what they're probably gonna to have to do is I don't know how the seeding works. So that what they're gonna to have to yeah they're gonna to have to they're gonna to have to probably do the original draw, and then oh yeah. So yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be a bracket. They either make it the original bracket and then keep that and and seed them. I don't know how you seed them. You know, you can manually seed in Blood Bowl too, yeah. I'm sure you can manually seed. I'm sure you can. Not that I've ever tried it. But I'm sure you can. You can remake and not choose different skills, but you get an extra. So they're just going to have to... Oh, God, so how, how are they going to do it then? So they're going to have to make a new tournament each round. Yeah, and remake the knockout each time. <laughs> they're going to have to make a tournament. A 64-man tournament. Have the first round. Then admin all the rest of the games. Then make a new team and make a 32 tournament. And then manually seed that. <laughs> It's just funny, isn't it? It's funny that they just don't support it. Oh, man. Yeah. No, yeah, single rule for each match. So they could do a draw, use, like, what's it called? Uh, like, like, that's what Rebel did, didn't they? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank on Cyanide being as organised as Rebel, though. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, they could, uh, 
do something, couldn't we? Well, I don't know what I can possibly do here. Yeah. Yeah, VGP sure does have his work cut out. Oh, if that had been a blitzer, blitzing, being a blitzing man, blitzing things. People love them. Christ, this is horrible. Humans are looking stronger anyway after this, isn't it? I mean, you can't really draw conclusions from one game. Rebels uh, Swiss was amazing, wasn't it? So yeah, I guess they could do the draw on like uh, Challenge or whatever. They could do the draw on Challenge, and then yeah, do do loads of one, do loads of two man tournaments like Rebel did. <laughs> Brutally outbashed by these humans. I mean, he does have a mighty blow, and I well, he's got two mighty blow, and I've got one. But that's the thing with orcs, isn't it? I should have just stood that guy up to occupy him, shouldn't I? If he got surfed, he got surfed. It's better than losing the ball. Yes, Jimmy. Go for the men's. <laughs> Thanks, Mogo. <laughs> I wanted to go for the potato, but I just couldn't do it, could I? I couldn't clear the path. This was the bad matchup for humans, but if they outbash, if they casually outbash the orcs, it's not such a bad matchup, is it? Hey, the orc thrower's got it. Everyone's favourite. <laughs> yeah, because they know. But it's only two games, isn't it? It's only two games. I made I made a mistake or two in this game. And, uh, got good dice in the first one, so. That's the thing, isn't it? Anything's gonna happen. Anything is anything is gonna happen and you know, this you can't say that like you can't say that <laughs> with with and I'm being fair here, so don't take offence, Crystal Hunter. You can't you can't say from this one game that Crystal Hunter is like better than me or his team is better than mine. In the same way as you can't say from my one game against Ducky that I'm better than Ducky or my team is better than Duffy's, you know. It's just one game, isn't it? We could play this game again. It could be complete, go completely the way, and same with the game against Ducky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dwarves give you the most guard and mighty blow, don't they? Because there's no need to take tackle ever. They can even have a panning on mighty blow guy. Dwarves. <laughs> no, I mean I think I played. I think I played worse this game than the first game. But the first game, I cast a dancer on turn two, didn't I? So <laughs> it was easy to it was easy to play better than that game. I've, I've made a number of mistakes in this game. So were they crucial? I don't know. Certainly a thrown rock and a KO that never recovered. And another uh, Kaz, you know, to be this heavily outbashed, maybe the mistake wouldn't have mattered so much. <sighs> I 
don't know, anti the rebound, there'd be more fucking blood ball, which would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? That'd be the negative. More games of blood ball. Um, positive look would be less of, less of a factor, but look's always going to be a big factor in blood ball games. You know? It's just the way blood ball is, isn't it? I've got to do this block first, actually. Then. Fuck off, man. <laughs> oh, the blocks have been horrible. Come on, Orc Thrower. Your time to shine, Orc Thrower. Get up, lad. Do a pass. Do a pass. You've got pass. Ah, oh, the fucking shitty catcher. It's almost as if relying on passing plays with an agility three team isn't a good idea. Even if you have a thrower. Fuck. Yeah, exactly, Rotten Blood. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, on, on you know, played Wood Elves, Kaz the Dancer turned two, played Humans as Orcs and got outmatched. And he did have he did have twice as much mighty blows as me, in fact. But I've got kind of twice as much armor as him. So, yeah, this shitty bit didn't do it. But he didn't have catch, did he? Humans would have catch for that. Um, as well as throw. <laughs> but, um, or pass, whatever the fuck it's called. So, yeah, that's the thing. You can't really draw any conclusions from these games. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Look, at the end of the day, it's not a good strategy, is it? But, um, that's what makes Chaos better than Nurgle, really, isn't it? Because, yeah, Chaos can save their asses with some crazy bullshit, and humans can as well. The humans have the movement and the agility to do some crazy plays. Dwarfs versus humans, yeah, Shawnee, yeah. Your your invitational team, is it? Yeah, desperation play, yeah, exactly. It's desperation play. I mean, this was desperation play, wasn't it? Because I'm three men down. <laughs> and uh, the ball in my own half, nearly. So... If there was ever a desperation play, that was it. So it, it was okay there to have the pass, but I mean, you know, if it didn't have pass, I could have just GFI. So actually, a blitzer would have just done the handoff and it would have worked. A blitzer Hello, would have been one this message there. sponsored by Donna. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Truly Notorious. Thanks for staying fantastic. Um, yeah, that's it, isn't it? If that had been a blitzer with a ball, he could have just handed it off to him. And it would have been one roll, a three plus, and it would have worked. So, the fact is, the fucking shitty orc thrower being movement five made it two dice rolls. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I would take the thrower just for... I mean, I have taken the thrower just for, just for wood elves, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Please recreate the invitation to humans. Nah. <laughs> but, uh, thanks very much, True and Notorious, for staying fantastic during the dark days. <laughs> this is going to have to be some bullshit with Scoria. I don't even have a clue what I can do. No, no rerolls as well. I can clear a black hole here. Common trend of the match then.
Yeah, it, it devalues woodies because people are going to know they're taking woodies and can give them the can give them the show hands, can't they? So it does it does devalue woodies for sure. Ah, glorious Shawnee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was a prompt answer. Oh, well. can drop the GG now. Yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> although I made some mistakes in the first half, Chris Lund is not taking both down against the defence to sort of throw was, <laughs> was pretty costly. He should have been 2 0 up, shouldn't he? But at least he played like he would have played if he'd been 1 0 up, going for the quick 2 0, but then I would have played to stop it more. Because um, I would have been quite happy to get a draw out of this. Um, no, I mean, you're going to. You're gonna take strip on the dancer, of course. You, of course, you, everyone's gonna. Everyone who's taken what else is gonna go tackle strip on the two dancers. That's obvious. There's no other choice. So, well, actually, no. You can take sidestep. Uh, Fiction did. He went sidestep on his war dancer, and then carried with a sidestep dancer and used the guard catch to protect him. And I actually quite like that. Uh, actually, quite like what he did there on the. Uh, <laughs> he just threw it at me. I was wondering why I didn't get the thing about catching. Oh, well, easy, easy, easy score here. Easy score. Um. No, oh, another another cast. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but it. <laughs> It certainly. I think, the, I think the Orcs ended with the same amount of players on the pitch than, than Ducky's Wood Elves did. And that's, there's a lot of variance in Blood Bowl, isn't there? And that's why, oh, I'll take Orcs, they're, they're, they're reliable with Armour 9, is is just not such a. Well, I made four armor breaks and I ended the, I ended the game with seven players on the pitch. <laughs> you know, the, the, armor set, the Armour 9 is not such. 62 blocks to 40. <laughs> 10 heavy bricks to 4, and then all the players off at the end of the match. Crazy. I think the, the block dice were pretty bad on both downs. They weren't that bad, actually. It just was always... Uh, it was always the fucking guys without block, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4... 4, 1 in 9s, not even that bad. Um, Because made, made enough blocks, actually made 62 blocks. 